All right, traders, so good to be with you today. Sean Lucas here, head trader at the Apiary Fund. We're going to talk a little bit today about tri Trump tax, right? And how it affects the trader tax status. So uh, kind of an important uh, concept to discuss today, especially where it's year end. You know, you've got all of those gains, losses, everything. We're trying to finalize everything uh, tax wise. So it's just a really good time to uh, kind of have a little Facebook Live about uh, Trump tax, you know, what, what to do here year end. Uh, and uh, you know how things might change next year and how to get prepared and ready for that. So anyway, welcome to the Apiary Fund. We are, uh, just uh, real quick, let me give a, folks a chance to get in. So if you want to uh, type in there where you're from, let me get some likes, make sure that everything's coming through. Make sure that our camera is not sideways like it was a couple weeks ago. <laughs> I don't know why we do that. You know, we, we think we learn from these things, but uh, you never know. So where are you from? Who do we got? Have we got anyone typing in there? Looking at, at Dave here. No typer? No? Oh, there's a lag. Gotcha. That's right, there's a lag with Facebook, so. Vicky says it looks good, your screen is good. Oh good, thanks Vicky, appreciate <laughs> that. <laughs> Excellent. Well, why don't we just jump into it. Uh, taxes and trading, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about how that affects traders. Um, when, it, when we're talking about taxes, um, one of the first things we kind of want to do is we kind of dif want to differentiate the trader from the investor, okay? Um, if you look at, uh, if you think about the two concepts from a tax perspective, investors get special tra tax treatment uh, compared to regular income. So you have your job and you get a W-2 and, and that, that all, you know, that's one way of, of taxing you. And then you've got investments that you make and that's another way of taxing you. Well, they treat those investors as you know, a certain type of income. Uh, capital gains applies, you know, where you have short-term capital gains, long-term capital gains. You also have, um, you know, day trading rules where you can't, uh, you, short, short sales, wash sales, you know, all these different type of rules that, you know, limit how you can take advantage of different types of taxes and, and minimize, mitigate your, those taxes, you know, as you're, as you're, um, as you're winding down the year. So that's investor. Um, and one of the things that we want to, you know, our traders, when you come into Apiary Fund, one of the things we like to encourage you to do is to set up a trading business. Um, there's a lot of reasons why, but primarily is because of the, the specialized tax treatment that you get if you have a business in trading. Um, instead of being subject to long-term and short-term capital gains, now all of a sudden you get uh, treatment as you, all of your trading income kind of works as a as revenue to your business. So you can think of if you have gains in your tax or gains in your uh, account, those are like revenue coming into your account. Any expenses, losses, those are like expenses. So you've got this, you can now treat tax, or you can treat, excuse me, you can treat trading like you treat a normal business. Normal business, you've got revenue, you've got expenses, expenses offset revenue, and so now you get to take advantage of all of that, as opposed to, you know, being, well, this, this gain gets offset by this loss, you know, and, and sort of the way that, the ways that investors get tax. There's some advantages to, uh, to being, having a trading entity and a trading business. So that's one of the first things is that we, we encourage, you know, we, we basically, we contract, Apiary Fund contracts with each of you as a trading business. So, you know, if there's ever any question, you know, you are a trading business when you start to work with Apiary Fund and, and the, the IRS treats you as such because you are, you are treating this as a business. Now, how does that change with some of the Trump, uh, Trump tax uh, changes that are coming up? 
I think uh, the biggest thing is that uh, Trump, Trump tax really changes, a lot, uh, changes the way that uh, you itemize as an, on an individual income basis. So in the past, you either go, here, let me just draw this out. There's, there's really t two types of deductions that you can take. So tax, let me change that. Tax deductions. You get to see my fifth grader handwriting here because I'm writing with my finger. <laughs> There's two types of deductions, right? You've got the standard and then you've got itemized. Can everybody see that okay? Are we getting thumbs up? Are we getting awesome? So you got these two different types of deductions that you can take with your with your taxes. Standard in the past, before Trump tax changes, you would add up all of your deductions. So you'd add them all up, and if the sum of all of those deductions was greater than the standard deduction. then you would choose to itemize. And so a good majority of people would choose to itemize. This doesn't really make sense the way I'm drawing it, sorry. But the majority of people would choose to itemize as opposed to having the standard deduction. Trump tax changes a lot of that. Because what they've done is they've taken away a lot of those stand, or a lot of those itemized deductions. So now you can't you can't deduct that a lot of those things from your taxes. And so now under the new Trump tax, you've got very few itemized deductions. But what they've done is they've given you a much greater standardized deduction. Does that make sense? So now, the majority, it's, it's, it's estimated, nobody knows for sure how it'll all work out, but it's estimated that the majority of people will now take a standard deduction. Uh, they'll lose, you'll lose a lot of those, those itemized deductions that you're used to having on your tax return. So, you know, that's a, <laughs> there's some good and bad to that, right? If you're one of those homes or families that uh, has been used to taking these really big tax deduction, itemized deductions, you know, really milking that for as much as you can, then moving forward into 2018, you may not be able to do that as, as much. Instead, you're going to rely more on your standardized, the, uh, more on the standardized deductions is what most people will will uh, turn to. So this is what gets me excited about the Trump tax change, okay? Is because number one, he's increasing the standardized deductions, but he's doing it by taking and removing away some of the itemized deductions that you get. So, you know, you might be thinking, oh no, that's not a good thing because I itemized a lot of my deductions and I was better off for it. Well, getting that bigger standardized deduction can be a real advantage. I think it's moved up to about 24,000 if the Senate bill comes through. 24,000 itemized or standardized deduction. That's a pretty good deduction for most people. So anyway, that part's good. Now, what about all those itemized deductions? Well, the great thing for traders, and this is what gets me excited, is the great thing for traders is that now you can take those a lot of those deductions that you used to get, and you can actually ship that over into your business, your trading business. So another aspect of Trump tax changes is that they haven't made, they, they're not making changes to the deductions that itemize the expenses that businesses get to take. So, you know, according to the the uh, literature out there, you know, this, these tax changes are supposed to be in favor of the business and in favor of middle class. The middle class really benefits from a higher standardized deduction and businesses benefit because they kept a lot of those deductions that those itemized expenses that a business can take. 
So now if you can take uh, um, some of those expenses that you, were, you would have itemized on your individual return and shift some of those expenses over into your business, your trading business, you can actually, you can actually come, you can actually be ahead, you know, if you compare the two, the two, the pre-Trump tax with the post-Trump tax. So that's one thing that you'll want to explore with your tax advisor. I'm not a tax advisor. I'm just, I'm a user, right? I'm, I'm, I'm like anyone else. I, I, I use whatever, <laughs> whatever opportunities are available to us and make sure that I use them in the appropriate way. And that's what you would want to do as well. So sit down with your, your tax advisor, you know, say, hey, look, I'm, I need to set up my trading business. I need to, there's some, there's some con, pros and cons to different entity types. You know, maybe you want to go with an LLC. Maybe you want to go with a um, S Corp. Maybe you want to go with a C Corp. There's some pros and cons to each of those structures. Supposedly, under the new Trump tax, the C Corp has a tremendous benefit because they've they've lowered the they've lowered the um, the tax rate on corporations down to twenty percent, twenty three percent, twenty five percent. You know, somewhere it'll wash out somewhere around in there. But that's a huge advantage because you know corporations were having you know they were getting taxed the most, but now they're getting taxed relatively small. And so, you know, it might make sense to go with a C corp uh, be, if you if you've got a lot of income, and especially if you're in a state where you don't have to pay state income tax, um, you can get a huge advantage by going with a C corporation. For most of apiaries traders, most of us here, you know, we're going to want to we're going to either want to choose between an, an LLC or a S corp, uh, some sort of a pass through entity. Just as a side note, the top line tax rate um, for pass-through income through a pass-through entity has dropped all the way down to less than 30%. So that's a huge advantage to you. You know, by, by setting up a lot of your income through that pass-through corporation, you actually get a lower, you'll, under this new plan, you'll get a lower tax rate. So that's a good thing as well. Um, there's some other advantages. Uh, you know, one of the itemized deductions that was removed was health care. And as a corporate or as an S corp, you can actually deduct a lot of the expenses that you'd have for health care. So you lose it over here. So just kind of follow me. You lose the itemized deduction. You get a much bigger standardized deduction, but you take that loss on the itemized and you move it over into your business, and now you've got that itemized deduction again. So there's a lot of there's a lot of things that you can look at in the new plan that will make that advantageous to you. So anyway, those are just a couple of things. Um, a lot of that is going to be figured out in the next few days as well. I mean, in the coming few days before the end of the year. <laughs> a lot of that is going to be, you know, they're, they're still finalizing a lot of this. And so a lot of things, little minute things will change. But I think the overall structure is pretty well established at this point with the new tax plan. So there's some things. What I'll do is I'll write a, a blog article. So make sure you check Apiary Fund blog. And I'm going to write a blog article that kind of spells things out, you know, how these things affect you um, as traders. So make sure you check out the Apiary Fund blog often, um, but in particular before the year end, because we're going to provide you with some information that'll be really helpful for that trader tax status, which is what you want as a, as a, as a trader. Anyway, uh, check that out. Um, Entity structure. Uh, so you've just come in. You're starting to trade. You're starting to establish your 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 track records. You're working through the B line, everything along those lines, and you're getting to that point where you want to start to consider your entity structure. There are three things that you want to consider. Uh, tax structure is one of them. That's kind of what we focused on for the majority of the day today. Um, but another consideration is asset protection. You know, a lot of you have, you know, homes, you know, some, some wealth established, some assets that you want protecting. 
Um, there, there's a lot of benefits that come by holding a lot of these assets that you'll be managing inside that business, court, business entity. Um, it's a lot easier. Let's say that you, you know, you trip, you, you cause an accident somewhere and someone comes after you and sues you, right? Well, it'd be awful, like absolutely awful if all of your trading accounts and all of your wealth, all your retirement monies was housed in individual, in an individual account with your name on it, because there's no, there's no protection that, that money is vulnerable, right? So another thing that you can do with this trading entity and, and establishing yourself as a trading business is that you can protect those assets. So now you have that accident, all your trading accounts are in a, uh, in a business account, right? So your, your stock accounts, your mutual fund trading, it's all in a stock account or in a, a trading business account. Well, there's, there's a veil there. They can't go through that veil. So your, your assets are protected. So that's another thing that you'll want to consider as you're, as you're coming into the year end and you're looking, hey, next year might be a good year for me in the trading world. Um, I know that I want the tax entity. I, I know that I want to get trader tax status. I know that I want that. I know that I need to pick an entity. I want to pick an entity that provides me with some good asset protection as well. So that's another consideration. So you've got the tax consideration, asset protection, um, and then also being able to manage, you know, how much income you have versus how much expenses you have. So all of those, the, those, all of those are are important considerations as you kind of come into this uh, into this point where where you're. Uh, where you're trying to decide how to set up, how to go about setting up your trading business. Um, I think we're probably pretty close to wrapping up here. Were there any questions, Dave? Anything from the, anything we want to address real quick before we wrap up? Yeah, Dave asked the questions, do traders for the fund get a TTS status or maybe a, a, a 1402i exception? Uh, tr so that we don't we don't establish the status the trader tax status. So Apiary Fund doesn't establish a tax a trader tax status. Status, <laughs> that's you, right? That's something that you'll. To be quite honest with you, there's no real trader tax exemption that you can file for. You know, it's not an official thing. Basically, if it ever comes down to it, you're going to have to say, hey, look, I, I am running this as a trading business. One of the things Apiary Fund does is it helps establish that credibility. So if, if by chance an IRS agent said, oh, yeah, you're just saying you're a trader, but you're not really a trader. Well, you can say, oh, well, I trade all of this on my own. But I'm also contracted with Apiary Fund, so there's a business contract between Apiary Fund and myself, and that really strengthens your your standing as a trader tax for that trader tax status. Great question, thank you for that. What else? That's it. Maybe you uh, can talk about the. Okay. All right. Um, in closing, just want to. Uh, uh, we're, we're trying to, I don't, you know, a lot of these Facebook lives, you know, they're, they're unscripted. We're really trying to, to, uh, communicate better with the world, right? We want to, we want to portray, you know, we don't go, we don't come into this with a very, you know, teleprompter, you know, I'm not, uh, this is all live, right? And and we're trying to we're trying to help people, the masses, the world understand what Apiary Fund is all about. And we had the idea, you know, coming into the end of the year, that we'd like to ask you for any um, any, you know, tell us your story, so to speak. You know, if you've got an experience that you've loved about with Apiary, if you've got a favorite class that you enjoy, um, if there's something, you know, a beeline achievement that you thought was really hard, but you figured out how to get through it, what we'd love to do is kind of get a video of your experiences with Apiary Fund. 
And so here's what we're going to do. For every video that you produce and, uh, and post to social media or you know anywhere, it doesn't it just make sure that you let us know that you've posted a video somewhere on the internet, YouTube, uh, Facebook, uh, you know, whatever, whatever, wherever and whatever. Just show us that you posted it. Each post that you make will be a, a uh, what do they call it? A credit. <laughs> I don't know what to say. How does, an entry, an entry, there you go. An entry into this, uh, into this drawing that we're going to have uh, for three a set of two of our three coins. So we've got uh, Apiary Fund has minted three different coins now, three editions. And uh, the winner of this little uh, Apiary Fund video experience uh, um, will win a set, two sets of these three coins. So we're excited about that. Um, I think that, you know, the coins are pretty cool and you can, you can obviously purchase them uh, through the website but anyway uh, send us uh, make it it doesn't have to be long you know even 20 20 30 seconds is fine but just share your story you know uh, maybe it's maybe you sat down and you had a trading session and you were making a lot of money and then you lost it all and you're bummed and you know whatever it is it doesn't matter whatever it is we're whatever your story is we want to hear it, and uh, and everywhere you post it, you know, just send us a list, send a list to support it at apiaryfund.com. Say, hey, I posted this video on my Facebook account. Here's the link. That's an entry into the drawing. Um, if you posted it on Twitter, there's another entry into the drawing. Uh, if you if you make two videos and post it at both Twitter and Facebook, there's four entries in the drawing, and in YouTube, we're just trying to help. Uh, you know, we're trying to help get the the real the real experience of Apiary out to the world. You know, we can. I think a, a lot of a, a lot of the world, you know, hides behind a script. They hide behind, you know, uh, makeup and you know all these different things apiary is real you know we've always said that apiary is real we always we always try to emphasize what it takes to be a successful trader you know we're not trying to hide anything and we need your help in sharing that in sharing that story with the world so that's what we're going to do um and hopefully we, we make them funny make them serious dramatic it doesn't matter we're just we're just looking Number one, we're looking for some good, uh, some good, some good stories, and uh, maybe making it uh, fun in the process. We thought this is a great way to, to kind of get the word out. So, however you, however you do it, just make sure that we can verify where you posted it. Um, we're not even going to post it. You don't. We'd love to have a copy of whatever material you send. So if you want to send us uh, the raw footage, we'd love that. If you don't have to, but we'd love to have that. If you want to let us use it and in in our in, on our Facebook page and stuff like that, we'd love to have that. But you don't need to send it. But anything you post and wherever you post it is an entry into the drawing. So we'd love to we'd love to give you send you six of these coins. Thank you. Oh, zoom in on that one. That there. Is that good? A little closer. <laughs> there we go. Mm. Ah, it's not working. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, thanks, folks. Uh, hopefully it's been uh, an enjoyable 20, 30 minutes with you today. Um, look forward to trading with you in the morning in the trading room. Come join us in the trading room where we uh, trade live and and other than that, we will see you next, uh, next Wednesday, same time. Thanks, everybody, and happy trading. Go fight trade. <laughs> Are we done? Are we done? Are we done yet? Are we done? Okay, you can stop it now. <laughs> oh, now we're done. Oh, thanks. <laughs>